So here we are at part three. This is day three of this. And we were able to find the main water shut off, which is down there. Because you couldn't find a water meter right in the front yard. It turns out the water meter is like in a little easement area behind that little shed right there. So we were able to cut the water off. Now, we're going to come in here today and pull some of this trim off and see if there's wood flooring underneath of that. Because the real estate agent has suggested that we pull this stove out of here, patch the hole in the ceiling, get rid of that half to make some room. And then they want to take this wall out right here all the way back to the corner of the dining room to open it up to make that area up more open. So we'll have to relocate an electric outlet over to another wall and put some flooring down and this floor is narrow so we'll have to find that. And today we're going to start demoing out some of this plywood in this bathroom pulling some of this stuff out of here. And once my plumber comes in and he takes all that water lines of these from that boiler and everything so we can get that out of there and make a utility room out of it, we're going to come in here and start ripping these baseboards out of here. Because right now, the meter out there is saying that there's 12 pounds of water pressure on these. So we want to fix that problem. So that's where we're at today. Day three. Right now, I'm getting ready to come in here and see what's underneath of that. So here we are, tearing out, the, uh, tearing out this hard. End up being a piece of plywood down, and what we're hoping that when we break all that shit up, we pull all this concrete and stuff off of here. When we lift that piece of plywood up, it's going to be fucking nice hardwood flooring underneath of there. And that's going to open the whole living room up. If you think about it, you don't have a lot of, you can put maybe a couch right there. Now he's going to put any kind of furniture, TV, or anything in front of a big, nice picture window like that. So basically, you're probably going to put your entertainment system over here on this wall. Now you'll be able to do that. Couldn't do it before with that stove there. So we're going to tear this shit up and pull it up and see what's under there. <laughs> that didn't go like we thought. It's got that mesh in it. And it's concrete. So we thought that if we roll it down the steps and it'll fall, it'd break it up and be manageable. But that didn't work out. Got the stove out. Now we're gonna get this piece of plywood up and see what we got here. Let's see what you got underneath. So look at that. Look at that. Plywood floor under that. Plywood. That's kind of what we want to see. Where I see some black. You see that black strip? That looks cute over there. I'm worried about it. I gotta get my leads from separated from the wall. So it looks like we're gonna have some hardwood floor in here after all. We'll go ahead and rip this shit up and then we see what we got. Apparently, the water meter is behind that shed over there and the water's on it. The homeowner found out that the water's been cut off for a while and then the runner turned it back on it was taking water and we will keep wondering why the power is on here so I walk over to the meter and I see this so my guess is they're going to hold me on it but it looks like to me that somebody cut that And cut the power on when it was disconnected so that's not good on a positive note though we're moving along with the bathroom got all the trim off of the wall from around the door it's got the closet doors off the main door off and we're pulling the plywood out now and I'm getting ready to pull the linoleum up off the floor to see what kind of condition the subfloor is on. Then that house is about 1953. Make it about 65 years old. That explains some things. All right, so we're going to finish up the day on day three. 
And in the bathroom, we've got most of the plywood pulled off down to the studs and the walls. And all the trim and everything off around. we got more plywood and stuff over here. We'll put sheetrock back, drywall. And we got the old floor and tore up. And we found the water shut off. We're gonna frame that up, put some sheetrock there, hang a mirror. Shutting everything down. We got most of us all that old paint peeled off out of that room that had wallpaper glue. Have to come in here and scrape a lot of that off with scrapers and stuff. It'll come off easy. Hopefully. They <laughs> seem like it's coming off. Yeah. Right here, got a little add on. I'm gonna fucking tear this fucking rock wall down off the wall. Which isn't real rock at all. This looks like it was made fake rocks. And that's what it looks like. So they put a mesh on there. And a couple of nails to hold it in. And we could probably pull it all off at one thing and let it fall over, but it's gonna fuck up everything. Break windows, tear the floor up, and everything. So, we'll come in here tomorrow with a little air chisel and see if we can break it off in pieces. In the kitchen, the mirrors that were on the backsplash are gone. And then, as you go through layers, you can see how things were back through town. Look at that. Looks like some brick wallpaper was in there one time. Too bad it ain't rock wallpaper on the other one. Yeah, too bad it ain't rock wallpaper on that wall in there. I'm gonna have to jackhammer that shit off. And hopefully tomorrow we'll get that rock wall down and maybe stop pulling these cabinets and stuff out of here. They look like they were nailed in. Yeah, something they're nailed in. And this one right here, we're gonna go out on and change all the hallway right and paint that and make that a pantry. So that's the end of day three. And stay tuned for tomorrow for part four, day four. And we're going to keep on making a little short video that's every day until, until we're done. We're going to take this wall out all the way down to that corner and open all of this shit up. So, subscribe to Giga TV now and keep coming back and watching these videos as, as things unfold in this house all the way down to the finished product. Probably take about another four weeks to get most of this shit done. So y'all have a good day now. And subscribe to Get Go TV. Watch your other 300 videos. If you've got any questions, leave a comment and I'll get back with you. Have a good day.